I can. You're safe as a honeypot, you always will be, and I'll be right there when we land. You're snuggly, woggly, snug as a buggly. <laughs> You're snuggly safe in my hand. Hello, I'm Pooh, which is short for Winnie the Pooh, which isn't short. I don't think I've seen this tree house before. And since everyone I know already has a house, why, this one must be yours. Hmm, new resident? Hmm, why wasn't I notified? Well, gotta get a mailbox in pronto, by dingy. Won't be official till you got a mailbox. Of course, uh, nothing would get done around here if I didn't do everything myself. No, don't you worry. Whenever you need anything moved from anywhere to any here, I'll be on the job. Yes, sorry. Hmm, this mailbox is missing some uh, something. Why, of course, it needs your name. Might you put it there? You can click on the proper letters to spell out your name on the mailbox. And when you've spelled out your whole name, just grab hold of that green balloon. Then we'll be off to explore the Hundred Acre Wood. G O O D B O Y If you wish, I'll be very happy to show you around the Hundred Acre Wood. Perhaps we shall find some things to make your tree home homier. <laughs> Wherever our wanda takes us, we shall have this special red honeypot. Anytime you would like to know a bit more about what to do, just grab a hold of this special pot. Then I shall tell you all the wonderful things we can do. There are several paths we may take, each as good as the next, none better than the other, since any way one goes with a friend is a good way. Just choose a path and off we'll go. If you're going in, might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? If we're done in here, I suppose we'll be going out there? <laughs> If you're going in, might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? If we're done in here, I suppose we'll be going out there? <laughs> By going neither south nor north, and not in the least bit east, we shall go west. Now we shall see the tree Tigger goes climbing, even though we all know that Tiggers don't climb trees. 
Hey, it's great to see ya. I'm glad you came around. I climbed so high up in this tree, and now I can't climb down. If you can pick the patches for the quilt down there, why, I can get back to the ground by flying through the air. I know that you can help me, and when the quilt is done, I might just bounce back up here, and we'll have some more fun. <laughs> Brother, we've just learned a bit of a lesson. Tiggers don't climb trees. Or rather, they climb up all right. It's the coming back down that's a bit sticky. And as you can see, Tigger is now quite stuck. If you will help finish this quilt, Tigger might jump down into it, safe and sound. First thing to do is that which hasn't been done. The first letter of each word seems not to be where it should be. We must find the first letter of each word and bring it from the tree trunk to the quilt. Then we just put it in the empty spot where it belongs. And if you feel a bit uncertain about a word, you might go to the picture to hear what it is. Confidentially to just you and no one else. I have never known Tigger to climb a tree less than three times in a row. <laughs> Those clothespins will help you keep track of how many quilts you've made for Tigger. C-U-P, cup. Falling out of trees is not something Tiggers do best. D-O-G, dog. I don't know which you'll give out first, me or the branch. J-A-M, jam. If I have to hang here till autumn, I'm gonna fall. F-O-X, fox. Heads up! I'm coming down! Oh, bother. Tigger bounced back into the tree. C-O-W, cow. Now that word is done. P. P-I-G, pig, most superbly spelled. R-U-G, rug, you've done it. S-A-W, saw. I don't know what to say, except... <laughs> Oh, bother. Tigger bounced back into the tree. H-A-Y. Hey. Just as it should be. B-A-G. Bag. I don't want to complain, but I can't hang around forever. C-A-T. Cat. Why, that's it! M-A-T, Matt. Thanks to you, I'm gonna be safe and sound and down on the ground. <laughs> This kite'll come in handy uh, next Wednesday. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game...
to finish this quilt, we must finish these words by putting the missing last letter in place. This makes things even a bit harder. These words are all finished except toward the middle-ish. And that is the letter we must find. C-O-W, cow. Now that word is done. C-A-P, cap. Most superbly spelled. B-E-E, B. -E -E -B. You've done it. B I B Bib Thank you times two thousand hundred and eleven one. Oh, bother. A tigger bounced back into the W E B. Web, just as it should be. D O G, dog. Why, that's it. B A G, bag. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> A P E, ape. A super duper quadruple thanks to you! Oh, bother. A tigger bounced back into the tree. O W L, owl. Now that word is done. B U G, bug. Snickety little fella, isn't he? Sheesh. P I E Pie. Hey, that's my favorite head you're a peckin' on. B A T Bat. Thanks! You saved my stripes! It's plain simple! You need an aeroplane at your tree house. <laughs> To play this game again, click the pink balloon. Goodbye, Tigger. We shall come again if you need us. If I know Tigger, he just might be up to something again very soon. <laughs> that part must be empty. <laughs> now we can drop by my house, although I wonder if I'll be at home at this hour. What a bother. My home is actually quite clean, but <laughs> the clean is all under the clutter. I had a honey party, you see. Each pot has a spot. I must get the A pot to the A spot, the B pot to B spot, and C to C, you see? Then all the others, too. Do you suppose you might help me? Just pick the next pot and put it up on the shelf. As soon as the pots are all back on the shelf, in alphabetical order, we shall be done. A. 
A B B C C D D E E Absolutely F F G G H H I I J J Absolutely alphabetic. K. K. L. L. M. N. 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 O O Quite right P P Q Q R R S S T A very grand job. You 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 V V W W X X Y Y Quite right Z Z A B C D E F G Perfect, as it shall stay. Until supper, anyway. Say, for cleaning like this, you deserve a thanks and you're welcome, Matt. I'll get it back to your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. I must get each pot back in place, beginning with A, then B, then C, then whatever, followed by whichever, and the next. You see? Q. Q. R. This makes things e I'm trying to get these parts put back in a more ABC-ish way. But it's all a bit fuzzy in my head. Would you help me, please? A. B. This will take us back to the woods so we can explore a bit more. If 
If again the pot get jumbly, might I ask, very humbly, if you'll come back to help? Two cute caterpillars go into the log. We shall make a friendly visit to see a friendly piglet. Oh, hello! I was about to straighten my cabinet. A very big job for a very small animal. Perhaps you might help. If you might open a cabinet door, you'll find a plate with a big letter and a little letter. Then open another door and try to find a plate that looks exactly the same, with exactly the same letters on it. I have five sets of dishes to sort. We can keep track by looking at those leaves at the bottom of the cabinet. When they're all filled in, we'll be all done. Q Q H B B B H H Delightful! N I T T I I N N O E O O S S E E <laughs> A C R C C C R R a A Delightful X Z U X X X U U Z Z Who said you were clever? And Pooh is right. Super duper! And the pinwheel's gonna look super too. Back at your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink button. Try to find a plate that looks exactly the same, with exactly the same letters on it. F, F. This makes things... Do you suppose you might help me match these little letter cups with the big letter saucers? J G This will take us back to the woods. If my cabinets become muddled again, I hope you'll come back. A small animal can always use the help of a helpful friend. Now we'll head in a due northerly direction. Now we will get a better look at this book, which I believe belongs to Eeyore, although I cannot say for certain. Another blustery day in the hundred acre wood. I started to read, it didn't work out like it should. My book has been tattered, the pages all are scattered. Please help me put them back together if you could. Please help me put them back together if you could. Hello. Found a nice book for a welcome gift. 
course the wind tore it to shreds. Figures. If you find the picture to go with the word, maybe we can piece the page back together. Won't know till we try. Got 26 pages to fix. Those little bookworms ought to keep count of how many you fix, assuming they can count. Zipper. Tomato. Quite right. Igloo. Jacket. Why, that's it. Lollipop. Keys. So it is. <laughs> Orange. Sock. Completely correct. Flower Right as can be Cake Watermelon. Just as it should be. Rope. Quail. Why don't you give it another try? Precisely the one. Hat. And how grand umbrella Violin. You've done it. Elephant. Zip. 
xylophone. Precisely the one. Goat. Dog. Well done. Mushroom. Necklace. Quite right. Yardstick. Ball. Precisely. If anybody could do it, you could. All right, let's get this baby out of here. This is a big job. So when I heave, everybody, ho. Count of three. One, two, three. To play this game again, click the pink balloon to Another blustery day in the hundred acre wood. I started to read, it didn't work out like it should. My book has been tattered, the pages all are scattered. If you find the picture to go with the sentence, Maybe we can fix the page. Might work, might not. The egg breaks. Who exercises? Grand going. Who skates? The sheep laughs. A very grand job. The worms swing. The spider winks. Right as can be. The fish swims. Pooh hikes. So it is. <laughs> Who crawls? Who rakes? You've done it.
The octopus juggles. Pooh writes. Remarkable. There. Good as new. Alrighty, let's get this thingy to the treehouse. Everybody hook your cable to the whatchamacallit. Look lively, lift with your legs. Ready, set, go! Oh, oh my aching back. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. Another blustery day. If you find the picture to go with the sentence, maybe we can patch the page. Worth a try. The sunflower smiles at the sun. Pooh rides in a wagon. Super superb. Piglet is sitting in the nest. Piglet holds a balloon. Quite right. The worms swing on the branch. Who eats honey? A very grand job. The kettle whistles on the stove. Piglet holds a carrot. Grand going! The lizard crawls out of the bucket. The fish swims in the bowl. Look at that! The grasshopper hops over the log. The dog chases its tail. I think you're right. Thanks. Forever indebted to ya. Yes, sirree! We'll get this back to the treehouse. Get your widget on that beam and string that rope under that whatchamacallit. All right, get yourselves in gear. You got a six-inch clearance on your starboard. Careful now. Easy. And here we go! I think I trained a quadra step. To play this game again, click the pink balloon to go back. Come back any day, especially a windy day. This letter to Rue is from someone whose name starts with an O. O is for Owl!
R uh, L L O G log Now to the sandy pit for a fine visit with Roo and you and Pooh too. <laughs> That's me. It's a beautiful day for us to play, but my other friends aren't around. I have an idea. Let's pretend with these friends many the sand I found. You can give them a ball or a drum to beat. There's so many things they can do. It's so much fun to make believe. So let's pretend me and you. As you see, Rose come to the sandy pit to play with his friends. But his friends are too busy. Which is why Tigger made him some friends from sand. Perhaps you and Roo together might pretend up some wonderful fun. If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the sand, you and Roo can pretend the rest. <laughs> I've played Let's Pretend with Roo before. Little Roo always pretends at least five times in a row. Let's keep track of how many times we pretend with these red flowers. Eeyore eats broccoli. Perhaps you might choose a friend and something from the sand. Then you and Roo can begin pretending. Eeyore drinks juice. Eeyore eats ice cream. Piglet eats broccoli. Piglet drinks juice. If Rue felt alone before, he certainly doesn't feel so anymore. Of course, your treehouse has to have a boomerang. If you can't remember how to use it, don't worry. <laughs> It'll come back to you. To play this game again. If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the sand, you and Roo can pretend. Eeyore plays with a hoop. Eeyore plays paddle ball. Eeyore plays basketball. Piglet plays with a hoop. Piglet plays paddle ball. You're a good friend to help Roo pretend. Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working. To play this game again. If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the sand. Eeyore plays a tambourine. Eeyore beats a drum. Eeyore plays a trombone. Piglet plays a tambourine.
Piglet beats a drum. You're a good friend to help Roo pretend. Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working. To play this game of... If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the sand, you and Roo can pretend the rest. Eeyore Hammers! Eeyore Saws! Your paints. Piglet hammers. Piglet saws. When it came to pretending, you and Rue sure knew what to do. <laughs> Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working. To play this game again. If first you'll pick a friend to play with. Tigger eats broccoli. Tigger eats ice cream. Tigger drinks juice. Piglet eats ice cream. Piglet drinks juice. If Rue felt alone before, he certainly doesn't feel so anymore. Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working. To play this game. If first you'll pick a... Tigger plays paddle ball. Tigger plays basketball. Tigger plays with a hoop. Piglet plays paddle ball. Piglet plays basketball. If Rue felt alone before, he certainly doesn't feel so anymore. Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working. To play this game again. If first you'll pick a friend to play with, then something from the set. Tigger plays a trombone. Tigger plays a tambourine. Tigger beats a drum. Piglet plays a trombone. Piglet plays a tambourine. 
you're a good friend to help Ru pretend. Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working to play this game. If first you'll pick a friend. Tigger hammers. Tigger saws. <laughs> Tigger paints. Piglet hammers. Piglet paints. When it came to pretending, you and Rue sure knew what to do. <laughs> Rewards at the treehouse. You can keep playing, but I gotta keep working to play this game. If first you'll pick a friend, this makes if you pick a friend, then some sort of something for them to do, then you and Rue can start pretending. ER uses a short saw. ER uses a little hammer. Eeyore uses a big hammer. Eeyore uses a long saw. This makes things easier. If you'll pick a friend, then something from the sand, I'm sure you and Rue can imagine up some grand fun. Eeyore paints with a thin blue paintbrush. Eeyore paints with a thick brown paintbrush. This will take us back to the woods. Goodbye, Rue. We've had fun pretending with you. Now we shall drop by to stop in and pop in on our good friend, Rabbit. Wait till I say go! <laughs> 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 Totally fantastical and magical and grand. Yes, but it doesn't make the signs just right. We, we need, need a, a helping hand. hand. I guess some of the letters yeah. look like a bunch of spots. They do. We're, We're so, so glad, glad that, that you are here, here to help connect the dots. It's great to have a friend like you to help connect the dots. <laughs> Yo, hello. I'm trying to make signs so I can get everything organized, but Tigger's contraption isn't working. The letters keep coming out all discombobulated. Well, perhaps you might help me finish them up, hmm? Hmm, well, since the machine didn't finish the letter, uh, maybe you can. Uh, pick a color. Oh, dear. You. I have complete faith in you, Letty. <laughs> you. Oh, my sign. Nut. Oh. 
on the count of three. Three! <laughs> J. J. Oh, look. My sign says, mm, jam. Ready. Oh, it gets easy. <laughs> That's the best C I ever seen, saw, looked at. Tigger, I think that C is an L. You see? Oh, this spells old. This makes the game a bit harder than... On the count of three. Three! Uh, this machine was no help. Oh! This makes... Wait till I say go! <laughs> Perhaps you can finish what this device started. And this will take us back to the woods. TTFN. Which spells what? Doesn't spell anything, but it stands for ta ta for now. X. Those look like my shirts, <laughs> but they have funny things on them. Oh, that's the letter A, and the letter N, and the letter T. That spells ant. Tigger slides down the hill. Tigger walks up the hill. Tigger slides down the hill. Now we shall head in a rather eastish direction. Now to see our bouncy friend Tigger and his bouncy jacks in their boxes. Presenting my brand spanking new Tiggerific invention! Tiggers, Jack in the Boxies! But not just any old Jack in the Boxies. <laughs> Each one sounds like a different letter. Only I forgot to figure which letter matches what sound. Say, if you help me, we can be co inventing partners. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it? I've got lots of these jack in the boxes to label. Four sets by my calculations. So, let's use those marks in the dirt to keep track of how many we got to do. H. Huh. Horsey. S. 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 N. N. Net. As a puzzle, T. T. 
Ta-ta, 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 ta T T tomato r r r r r r r r r rainbow Peas in a pod. Fantabuloso. Z, 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 z. Z, z, zebra. Mama, 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 mama. V V violin J J Jump rope. K K kettle. La 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 la. L L. Lollipop! <laughs> it was impossible, but you did it any. <laughs> Look out below! Here she comes! You're gonna go cuckoo over the clock <laughs> when you see it back in your treehouse. To play this game again. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it? C. C. Cup. This makes. Why don't you crank the handle on these boxes to hear what sound it makes, then show me what letter goes with it? Oh, I have a little secret. Some of my jack-in-the-boxes make funny blendy sounds. <laughs> That's when two different letters get together to make one big sound, like the letter CH make a CH sound. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. C-H, ch, cherries. Gra, 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 gra. G-R, gra, grapes. G, 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 g. G, J, Giraffe! Woo-hoo! Wa, 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 wa. W, wa, Watermelon! Qua, 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 qua. Qu question mark? Super.
super superful. M. Mmm. Monkey. Hoo-hoo. C. K. Keg. Z. 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 Zebra. Blah, 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 blah. BL bl blueberries Oh 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 ah a stretch Congratulations I I I I I I I I I I, I, ice cream. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> BR, br, brush. Cra, 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 cra. CR. Cr crab Glug 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 GL gl globe fa 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 F F fish. That's the one. <laughs> du, 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 du. D D doggy. Sa 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 sa. S S socks. R R R R R R R R R R R R R C L Cla Clown J J Jump Rope I thank you, thank you, and re thank you. Look out below, here she comes. <laughs> Well, I'd be off my rocker to pass this up. Let me get it back to your treehouse. To play this game of toodle -hoo -hoo to you. To Owl's house we go. A very wise choice. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Just in time for my poetry recital. Today, I'll be reading from Owl's Book of Poetry. Written, compiled, created, arranged, and composed entirely by <laughs> myself. Ahem! And music by yours truly! Dirty hands? Don't lose hope. Scrub them clean with lots of honey. Oh, 
Oh, bother. Howell's rhymes do not ever rhyme. Would you find or write something to make the rhyme rhyme? Then move it over to Owl's music sheet. To hear it will be quite a treat. Ahem. <clears throat> there will be five poems on the program. Please don't fall behind. Those musical notes on the piano will help you keep track. Dirty hands? Don't lose hope. Scrub them clean with lots of... Soap. You deserve twelve rubies and a big old diamond for taking those lines and making them rhyming. <laughs> With just a little bit of luck, Roo will find his yellow... rake. Frog. With just a little bit of luck, Roo will find his yellow duck. You deserve twelve rubies and a big old diamond for taking those lines and making them rhyming. <laughs> Plant a seed, give it a shower, soon you'll see a pretty key. Plant a seed, give it a shower, soon you'll see a pretty flower. Not a minute too soon, you got them in tune. Send a letter in the mail, if you find hat. Send a letter in the mail, if you find yours tail. You're a poet, and now you know it. <laughs> if Piglet had one wish, he wouldn't wish to be a son. If Piglet had one wish, he wouldn't wish to be a fish. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs> Hold the phone. It's a xylophone. Let's get her on back to your treehouse. To play this game again, click the pink balloon. To play this game at the next level, click the orange balloon. To go back to the woods and find something else to do. Eeyore, for one, doesn't like the hot... marshmallows. Only, they aren't really rhymes at all. Could you make them more rhymish? Simply find the rhyming object and move it... Eeyore, for one, doesn't like the hot suit. What? Eeyore, for one, doesn't like the hot sun. What a miracle! You made it lyrical! It's too bad about the dirt on old Pooh's blue it's too bad about the dirt on old Pooh's blue shirt. What a miracle! You made it lyrical! Piglet is oh so shy. He'd never wear a pink tee. Piglet is oh so shy, he'd never wear a pink bow tie. 
Those rhymes were rhyming frightful, till you made them rhyming rightful. <laughs> I saw Roo and Pooh looking for an old book. I saw Roo and Pooh looking for an old shoe. Not a minute too soon. You got him in tune. A bear, not a bunny, truly likes fair. A bear, not a bunny, truly likes honey. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs> According to my calculations, <laughs> you need this back at your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink balloon to play. Eeyore spends hours counting the tech. I'm sorry to say, these poems aren't too poemish. Would you be so kind to think in your mind of a word that makes this rhyme? Even I can do it, <laughs> some of the time. <laughs> All you must do is move the rhyming thing to Owl's music sheet. <laughs> I'm the bestest piano playing Tigger there is, not to mention the only one. <laughs> spends hours counting the flowers. Not a minute too soon. You got them in tune. This is true. This I swear. Two apples do not make a bumblebee. This is true, this I swear. Two apples do not make a pear. You took that thing and made it sing. Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big cheese. Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big horn. Don't think so. Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big Owl. <laughs> Piglet worked until mid-June, blowing up a big balloon. You're a poet, and now you know it. <laughs> to go outside, pull the door handle. To light up the dark, we'll need a tea. To go outside, pull the door handle. To light up the dark, we'll need a candle. Those rhymes were rhyming frightful, till you made them rhyming rightful. <laughs> and Roo were glad fellows when they roasted Chair. Pooh and Roo were glad fellows 
when they roasted marshmallows. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs> I gotta stop fiddling around and get this guitar back to your tree house. To play this game again, click the pink balloon to go back to the wood. Now to uncover what Detective Tigger has detected. <laughs> Detective Tigger, tell the story About a honey jar that's missing You can solve the crime Every time <laughs> All you have to do is listen 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 Shh, listen <laughs> So, you want to solve mystifying mysteries? First, we got to recreate the scene of some baffling old cases of mine. Here's how to solve them the Detective Tigger way. I'm going to read from my detective notes, and you just listen to what I say. Then, you get to use these official detective thingamadoodles and move them onto this big board when I say to. When we reach the end of the case, I'll ask you the solution to the mystery, and you click on the right thingamagiggy. <laughs> Not just anybody can be a detective, you know. Gotta pass the test. Listen to five of my most famous cases. Cases. Every time you finish a case, you get a star on the edge of the board there. Get all five stars, and you qualify for your very own detective license. The case of the simply single stick in which I, Detectifying Tigger, had to detect who had the one stick for playing poo sticks. One fine day, Pooh was out on the bridge, bringing old Pooh Boy on to the big board. Piglet was on the bridge, too. Now move Piglet to the bridge. Absolutely super! Owl was on the bridge too. Now move Owl to the board. Pooh had a piney cone. Give old Pooh boy a piney cone to hold. It is perfection of detection. Owl had a beautiful daffodilical flower. <laughs> Go ahead and give Owl a flower. Piglet had a stick. Go ahead and give Piglet a stick. Maybe you could try moving one more of them. Electrifying, detectifying. Now your detectable question. Who had the stick for playing poo sticks? Not quite, but keep going. That's right, Piglet had it, and that's nothing to shake a stick at. <laughs> Case closed. The case of the difficult dinner decision, in which I, Detectable Tigger, had to figure out what Pooh Boy ate at Rabbit's house. Pooh popped by Bunny Boys for a little something sweet to snack on. Put Pooh on the big board. There was some honey just sitting on the shelf, calling out Pooh's name. Poo, Pooh, Pooh. Poo. Put that old honey jar over there. As right as right can be. There was a loaf of bread loafing on the table. Slide that old bread onto the board, would you? And there was a bowl of fruit there, too. Set the bowl of fruit on the board, too. Definitely. Good old Pooh boy took the loaf of bread. Slide the bread on over to Pooh. Loaf of bread. Loaf of... Now, your detectifying question. What did Pooh eat at Rabbit's house? Nope, but don't lose hope. It's somewhere out there. <laughs> you got it! Pooh was eating a loaf of bread and the... Oh, say, 
I've never seen a Pooh Bear pass up honey. <laughs> the jar must have been empty. The case of the very crowded tree in which I, Defective Tigger, had to detect who was stuck in the tree so thou could rescue him. <laughs> Roo hopped right on up to the tip-top tip of a big tall tree. <laughs> Put little Roo on the board. Piglet climbed up with him. Move little Piglet to the big board. It is perfection of detection. Of course, Pooh was up there too, you know. Now move Pooh over too. Eeyore. Then Roo jumped down to the ground. <laughs> now slide Roo down to the bottom of the board. Fantastical! Piglet got himself down too. Now move Piglet with Roo, would you? Now your detectable question. Who was stuck up in the tree? Superfluous! Pooh Bear was left up in the tree that time. That's pretty dazzling detectifying. <laughs> The case of the noisiest noise, in which I, Detectable Tigger, had to detect who was playing what in the marching type band. Pooh Boy was leading the band through the woods. March old Pooh Boy onto the big board. He was playing one rootin' tootin' flute. So I give Pooh a flute to toot. Hmm, must be some other sort of somewhere. Go to my detectifying notepad any time you want me. He was playing one rootin' tootin' flute. So I give Pooh a flute to toot. Fantastical! Little Roo was in the band too. Bring the little guy on over. Roo was drumming a drum. Give Roo a drum to drum. Nope, but don't. Electrifying detectifying. Piglet was in the band too. Move Piglet on over to the board. He had a big old pair of clanging, banging cymbals. Give Piglet some cymbals to clang. Electrifying detectifying. Now your detectifying question. Who was playing the drum? Great going. It was Rue who was drumming that old drum to beat the band. The case of the very disappointing lunch, in which I, Detectable Tigger, had to detect who ate Owl's last jar of honey. One afternoonish day, Owl was in his house. Yeah, you could put Owl on the big board. Owl won't give a hoot. <laughs> he was holding his very lastest jar of honey. Go on and give the jar of honey to Owl. Absolutely super! Little Piglet came by for lunch. Bring Piglet on in. Owl gave Piglet the honey jar. Go ahead and pass the honey jar to Piglet. <laughs> Unbelievable! Then Tigger, who is me, came by to say hello. Bring the Tigger, who is still me, on in. Piglet don't like honey so much, so Piglet gave the jar of honey to me, Tigger. Go on, and give that jar of honey to Tigger, who's me. I detect a genius at work. Now your detective in question. Who had Owl's lastest jar of honey? Incredible. You detected that Tigger... I had the lastest jar of honey, but I didn't eat the honey, honest. <laughs> Well, it's clear to me. Every good detective needs a magnifying glass. Let's get her back to your tree house.
on account of your remarkable ability to listen to clues and solve the bafflingest cases, I award you this officious Tiger Detectifying License. To play this game again. So, you want to solve mystifying mysteries? First, we gotta recreate the scene of some baffling old cases of mine. Here's how to solve them the Detective Tigger way. I'm gonna read from my detective notes, and you just listen to what I say. Then, you get to use these official detective thingamadoodles and move them onto this big board when I say to. When we reach the end of the case, I'll ask you the solution to the mystery. And you click on the right. Not just anybody can be a detective. Mysteriously mystifying mystery number one, two, three. Uh, the case of the vanishing vegetables, in which I, Detective Tigger, had to detect who got no vegetable. And thanks for helping with rabbits gardening. Can you imagine? Old rabbit was in the garden. Well, move him on over there. And little bitty piglet was helping out. Well, bring him to the board, too. I detect a genius at work. So was Kanga. Hop her on over there, too. <laughs> there was a carrot and rabbit's wheelie barrow. Put it on the board now. You're no defective detective. <laughs> Rabbit gave a carrot to Kanga as a thank you for her helping. Go on and give it. Now for your detectable question. Who helped old long ears but didn't get a vegetable? Superfluous listening. Piglet didn't get anything for helping Rabbit. Mystery number 33 and a third, the case of the mysterious reader, in which I, Detectable Tigger, had to decide who was learning how to read. <laughs> Pooh was sitting on the bed. Move him onto the big board. Piglet came by. Bring him on over next. Nope, but don't lose hope. Piglet came by. Bring him on over next. Fantastical! Pooh had a mysterious book with him. Put it on over there. B Piglet brought a ball to play with. Put it on over there. Fantastical! Roo was sitting on the bed. Move him onto the big board. Now your detectable question. Who do you think was learning to read? Hmm? Delightfully done detecting. Pooh was learning to read on account of because he had the book. <laughs> the case of the unknown kite flyer, in which I, Detective Tigger, had to detect who got to fly the kite first, so Kanga would know who had already had a turn. Pooh got in line to fly the kite. Move him to the board. Eeyore came to move him to the board next. Electrifying detectifying. Tigger, who is me, wanted to fly the kite too, so I bounced to the front of the line. Move that great guy to the board next. Tigger, Tigger, you know me, realized it wasn't fair to jump ahead of the others who were waiting in line, so I rebounced to the back of the line. So, send Tigger, you know, me, to the end of the line. Definitely. Pooh Boy got hungry <laughs> and left to go get some honey. What a surprise. Move him back to the small board. Then, little bitty Piglet got in line to fly the kite. Line him up on the big board, would you? Definitely. Now, for your detectable question. Who do you think was first to fly the kite? Unbelievable! You figured out it was Eeyore who got to fly the kite first. Bet he must have been happy, at least until his kite got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Poor guy.
Mysterious mystery number 13, the case of the hot potato, in which I, detecting Detective Tigger, had to decide who had the hot potato. Owl was at the northerly northernest pole, playing hot potato. Move him on over. Lil Roo was there, too. <laughs> Move him on over now. I detect a genius at work. Old Eeyore was up there, too. Move him on over, would ya? Owl gave the potato to Eeyore. Move the potato from Owl to Eeyore. It is perfection of detection. Eeyore gave it to Roo next. Take that tater from Eeyore to Roo. Then Roo gave it back to Owl. Move it back to him, okay? Not quite. Absolutely super! Now your detective's question. Who had the hot potato? Splendiferous! Owl ended up with the hot potato! Mystifying mystery number 544, the case of the perplexing pinwheel, in which I, Detective Tigger, had to detectify who was playing with what, so I'd know who to ask for the missing pinwheel. <laughs> Roo was playing at home. Move him on over. Little Roo was playing with his little topperoo. <laughs> moving on the board, will ya? Maybe you could try moving one more of them. As right as right can be. Little Piglet came to play with Little Roo. Move him into the scene next. Piglet was playing with a pinwheel. Put that on the board, please. As right as right can be. Pooh came too to play with Roo. Bring him on over. Pooh asked Piglet very kindly if he could play with the pinity wheel, and Piglet said, why, yes, he would love to share. Move the pinwheel over to Pooh now. Hmm. Electrifying, detectifying. Now your detectable question. Who was the last one to play with the pinwheelie? Nope, but don't lose hope. Absolutely, Pooh Boy was, since Piglet was so kind to share the pinwheelie with him. <laughs> Another case closed. Say, no self-respecting detective should be without some fingerprint powder. For your amazing ability to put puzzling pieces together and solve unsolvable cases, I give you this Tigger Detectifying License! It's made out of genuine imitation rawhide paper. To play this game again. So, you want to solve mystifying mysteries? First, we got to recreate the scene of some baffling old cases of mine. Here's how to solve them the Detective Tigger way. I'm going to read from my detective notes, and you just listen to what I say. Then, you get to use these official detective thingamadoodles and move them onto this big board when I say to. When we reach the end of the case, not just the case of the disappearing dirt, in which I, Detective Detective Tigger, had to figure out who cleaned up Rabbit's house for him. Rabbit was in his house, just wishing he was done with his cleaning. Put him on the board amongst the dirt. Pooh came by. Let's bring him into the picture. Fantastical! Piglet and Eeyore came over too. Drop Piglet and Eeyore onto the board. Eeyore had a dusty dustin' cloth, and Piglet had a broom. Get the dustin' cloth and the broom on the board. Hmm. Electrifying, detectifying. Pooh Boy had a sponge in one hand and a pail in the other. Set the sponge and the pail on the board. Rabbit had to go before he found out why they were there. 
take him off the big board and move him to the little board. Absolutely super! Now your detectable question. Who swept up Bunny Boy's floor? Not quite, but keep going! Bingo! Piglet made a clean sweep of it. Great job listening to me! The case of the snazziest sign you ever seen, in which I, detecting Detective Tigger, had to determine who painted the sign. Piglet was outside of his house, with a smile and a paintbrush. Set Piglet and the paintbrush up, if you will. Pooh Boy came by, holding a green balloon. Put Pooh Boy and a green balloon on the board, please. Perfectly perfecto. Then Gopher came by, carrying a purple balloon. What say you set the old Gopher guy and a purple balloon up on the board? Then Piglet gave Gopher the painty brush, and Pooh gave Piglet the green balloon. Go ahead and move the paint and brush over to Gopher, and move the green balloon over to Piglet. As right as right can be. Then Gopher gave Pooh the purple balloony. Go on and slide the purple balloon over to Pooh Boy. Now your detecting question. Who do you think painted the snazzy sign? Fantastic! <laughs> Gopher had the paintbrush, so he must have painted the sign. Now that's a sign of good detecting. <coughs> the case of the ever-growing garden, in which I, Detectable Tigger, had to detect who helped Bunny Boy with his garden. Rabbit was out gardening in the garden with a shovel. Put Rabbit and the shovel on the board. Rabbit. Owl was up a tree, reading a book. Now put Owl up there with something to read, if you will. Fantastical. Eeyore came over and gave Rabbit a pack of seeds. Bring Eeyore and the seeds to the board, please. Pooh and Piglet bounced on by to say hi. Bring both Pooh and Piglet onto the scene. <laughs> now for your defective question. Who was helping Rabbit in the garden? That's correcto! Eeyore had the seeds, so he was the helpful helper with the helping hand. The case of the very thirsty plant, in which I, defective Tigger, had to figure out who watered Pooh's plant. Pooh Boy was worrying over his sickly little plant. Let's set Pooh and the plant on the board. Mrs. Kanga and little Roo hopped in. Hop Kanga and Roo over to the board. I detect a genius at work. Rabbit came by, carrying a watery can. Bring Rabbit and a watering can on over, too. Kanga gave Pooh some plant foodsies. Go on and move the plant food. P Delicious detecting! Pooh left to ask Owl how to use the plant foodsies. So move him off the big board and on to the little board. Now your detectorizing question. Who would have watered Pooh Boy's piteous little plant? Good detecting. It was old Long Ears who watered Pooh's plant. And we knew all because of you and my fantastic felt pieces, of course. <coughs> the case of the very wet walk, in which I, detectifying Tigger, had to detect who got wet while walking. Pooh and Piglet went for a walk in the wet, wet rain. Set both Pooh and Piglet on the board. Kanga and Roo went along with them. Move Kanga and Roo to the big board, please. Perfectly perfecto. Eeyore was there, too, and he had an umbrella. 
Bring Eeyore to the board, and don't forget to move the umbrella over there, too. Piglet had an umbrella, too, but all Pooh Boy had was a big old stick. Put the stick and umbrella on the board. You're no defective detective. <laughs> Mrs. Kanga had a rain and coat, and Roo had a big hat on. Put the raincoat and big hat on the board. Now for your detective's question. Who got all wet? That's it. Pooh Boy got all wet because he didn't have a raincoat or an umbrella or a hat. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> You're going to be a great detective one day. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, there's one thing a detective really needs. It's a good bubble pipe. Yep, I'll just get this back to your tree house. In consideration of your superbical skills at solving mysterious mysteries and cracking confusalant cases, I hereby award you with this official Tigger Detectifying License. <laughs> to play this game again. Come back anytime you want to crack up some more cases. Now, we shall pay a visit to a very good friend, such as yourself. <laughs> Tigger told me he left a very special surprise for you inside your treehouse. Why don't we go inside and find out what it is? Now we shall head Sleeping snake. I think that is an H. <laughs> well, a laughing ladybug. Now we shall pay. If you're going in. Might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? Tigger's surprise is right up there. Why don't we open it and see what's inside? Forget the rest. You're the best of the best. You finished a bunch of games, so now you get to make your very own doorbell for your very own treehouse. Woohoo! Pick out a sound for your doorbell and put it in the first spot. Then, put another one in the next spot, and another in the next, until you're all done. Then, clickify that green baloney. <laughs> Go on down to these little arrows to see all your doorbell sounds.
Just click on your contraption whenever you'd like to change the sounds it makes. Rocking chair. Those are circles. Halfway down the stairs is a stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom. I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway up the stairs isn't up and isn't down. It isn't in the nursery. It isn't in the town. And all sorts of funny thoughts run round my head. It isn't really anywhere. It's somewhere else instead. Ernest was an elephant, a great big fellow. Leonard was a lion with a six-foot tail. George was a goat, and his beard was yellow. And James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall, and a great big strong one. Ernest had a manger, and its walls were thick. George found a pen, but I think it was the wrong one, and James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in danger, and nobody heard him at all. Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went a journey with the goat's new compass, and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat, as I think I have mentioned. But James was only a snail. These are my two drops of rain, waiting on the window pane. I am waiting here to see which the winning one will be. Both of them have different names. One is John and one is James. All the best and all the worst comes from which of them is first. James has just begun to ooze. He's the one I want to lose. John is waiting to begin. He's the one I want to win. James is going slowly on. Something sort of sticks to John. John is moving off at last. James is going pretty fast. John is rushing down the pane. James is going slow again. James has met a sort of smear. John is getting very near. Is he going fast enough? James has found a piece of fluff. John has hurried quickly by. James was talking to a fly. John is there, and John is one. Look, I told you, here's the sun. Oh, hello. <laughs> Those tracks look like the letter W. They must have been made by a woozle. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? <laughs> Book. Where am I going? I don't quite know. Down to the stream where the king cups grow. Up on the hill where the pine trees blow. Anywhere, anywhere. I don't know. Where am I going? The clouds sail by. Little ones, baby ones, over the sky. Where am I going? The shadows pass. Little ones, baby ones, over the grass. If you were a cloud and sailed up there, you'd sail on water as blue as air. And you'd see me here in the fields and say, doesn't the sky look green today? Where am I going, the high rooks call. It's awful fun to be born at all. Where am I going, the ring doves coo. We do have beautiful things to do. 
If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You'd say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. A lion has a tail, and a very fine tail. And so has an elephant, and so has a whale. And so has a crocodile, and so has a quail. They've all got tails but me. If I had sixpence, I would buy one. I'd say to the shopman, let me try one. I'd say to the elephant, this is my one. They'd all come round to see. Then I'd say to the lion, why, you've got a tail. And so has the elephant, and so has the whale. And look, there's a crocodile, he's got a tail. You've all got tails, like me. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, Nobody knows. Oh, the magnifying glass makes things look bigger. There are lions and roaring tigers and enormous camels and things. There are buffalo, buffalo bisons and a great big bear with wings. There's a sort of a tiny potamus and a tiny noceros too. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. There are badgers and bidgers and bodgers and a superintendent's house. There are masses of goats and a polar and different kinds of mouse. And I think there's a sort of something which is called a wallaboo. But I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. If you try to talk to the bison, he never quite understands. You can't shake hands with a mingo. He doesn't like shaking hands. And lions and roaring tigers hate saying, how do you do? But I give buns to the elephant when I go down to the zoo. I often wish I were a king, and then I could do anything. If only I were king of Spain, I'd take my hat off in the rain. If only I were king of France, I wouldn't brush my hair for aunts. I think if I were king of Greece, I'd push things off the mantelpiece. If I were king of Norway, I'd ask an elephant to stay. If I were king of Babylon, I'd leave my button gloves undone. If I were king of Timbuktu, I'd think of lovely things to do. If I were king of anything, I'd tell the soldiers, I'm the king. James James Morrison Morrison Weatherby George Dupree took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, You must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James James Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James James Morrison's mother drove to the end of the town. James James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice. Lost or stolen or strayed. James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord. She tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. 
James James Morrison's mother hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry. So did the Queen and Prince. King John, somebody told me, said to a man he knew, If people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? J. J. M. M. W. G. D. P. Took great seal his M, though he was only three. J. J. said to his M, M, he said, said he, You must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. Now, whenever you want to see if you're home, just ring the old doorbell that you yourself made. Kite! Boomerang. <laughs> this, I'm certainly sad to say, means you'll be leaving a hundred acre wood for a while. If you really must go, click on the green balloon. Are you most certainly certain you must go? If you are, then pick the yellow balloon. But if you'd like to explore just a little bit more, choose the purple balloon. I shall simply say a simple good day, for when you're of a mind to play again, the Hundred Acre Wood will always be here, and will always be waiting just for you. Uh.